it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to make perfect perf cuts with your Roland BN20 or BN20A, which is what I have here. So a perf cut is a sticker or a vinyl decal that goes all the way through, cuts both through the vinyl itself or the heat transfer vinyl, and then also the backing. So it can be a little bit tricky, but I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve to show you how to do this so that you can get perfect perf cuts. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is we need to vectorize the PNG. So I like to use a combination of Silhouette Studio Business Edition and Affinity. It allows me to not only vectorize or trace when needed, but also to create the cut contour line or perf cut line. So what we're going to do is we are just going to open up Silhouette Studio and go to File Merge. Um, this will bring in the file that we want into the work area that we currently have open. So this is a PNG. Now, if you have the SVG option, you can bypass Silhouette Studio completely because Affinity already will have the information that it needs in order to create the cut line. However, if you only have the PNG, which we do in this case, we need to vectorize first in Silhouette Studio, which is a very, very easy process. Um, and it's why I like to use Silhouette Studio Business Edition along with Affinity. You can do all of this for under a hundred bucks or so and it's a one-time fee as opposed to paying for um, an ongoing subscription for software okay so for here's our design um, when you bring in a uh, PNG into Silhouette Studio so long as you have the auto trace on um, it will automatically trace the design. So we have it on here. You can see PNG auto trace is on, which means that as long as there's a transparent background, which this one has, it will automatically find the um, edge of the design and it will put a cut line around there. Now, that red line that you're barely seeing around there is the cut line. Um, unfortunately, exporting just from Silhouette Studio, uh, VersaWorks will not recognize it. So that is why we need to stop first in Affinity. But before we push push this out as an SVG so that we can open in Affinity, uh, I want to do a couple of things. First, I want to just get the sizing right. So decide how large you want your um, uh, design, your sticker to ultimately be. In this case, I'm going to make it about five inches. Um, and you have the dimensions right here on the side. Okay. Then, while we have that red cut line there, what I want to actually do is give it a line weight. Um, the, it, we call it a line in Silhouette Studio, we call it a stroke in most other programs. So just give it a 0.25 weight so that uh, Affinity will be able to recognize it. The color of it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to just keep it red. Actually, I'm not going to keep it red because um, we're going to change it in Affinity. I want to be able to make sure I can easily identify it. So I'm going to actually turn it to green so that in Affinity I can see it. Okay, so that's all we need to do. And then I'm going to select the design and I'm just going to go up to File, uh, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive, and then I will change the file format to SVG. And this is the part, this is why you need Business Edition um, because you won't be able to export as an SVG otherwise. So I'll just call this self Love Club Sticker. And it will save uh, the selection to my computer. Next thing that I want to do is launch Affinity Designer. So let's do that. All right, so we've got Affinity Designer here, and then I'm going to assume that you already have your uh, Roll and VersaWorks Cut Contour Perf Cut um, um, colors in there, swatches in there. If you haven't done that already, which it would be the very first um, step before you get into this, and I, I hope by the time you're looking at doing perf cuts, you've already done this. I have another video for that if you need a refresher. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do file open, and I'm going to find that SVG that I just saved. Um, I believe mine actually went into this same folder here where I called it, yes, SVG. Okay, so that is going to open up in Affinity. And here is the design here. And I'm going to expand it so that I can see the path. Now the path is, um, the, that was the one that we colored green, right? So you can see here, you can verify this stroke color here is green. Now in order to make that stroke line a perf cut line that VersaWorks can see, we need to go to our VersaWorks perf cut line uh, profile and we need to change it to, whoops, we need to change the perf cut line to our perf cut color, okay? So I have now done that. Now, 
you saw that my entire design turned gray. That will happen if you are on the fill instead of the perf, okay? So you don't, you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that you are on the perf cut line itself, which is the open circle, okay? Now, that's all set. That's literally all you have to do in Affinity to set the perf cut line. So then we're just gonna do file, export, and from here, I'm gonna change the um, area that I want to um, export to selection only. It's on PDF, and then we'll export. Now, um, this is going to say perf cut line added. So I'm just renaming my files so that I know. Now, I am currently using a Mac. You could have done all of this on a PC. I need to open this in VersaWorks, which is obviously only um, working on a PC. So I need to put this um, on a cloud or get this some way to my PC. I like to use Google Drive. So I am going to upload to Google Drive, move to my PC, download from Google Drive, and then we'll pick it up from VersaWorks. <laughs> All right, so here we are on the PC and I have VersaWorks open. I am going to pull my file into my QE, which I already have set up for the um, material type that I'm using. So I'm gonna go to File, Add Job to Queue, and then QE, and I have my cut line or my file right here. And we are going to verify that this file has perf cut lines. So you can see here where it has the A and it has the little perforated lines around there, plus if you um, hover over, you can see it. it's calling it a perforated cut under special items. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click the file name itself and go to settings. So in this is where you are going to adjust um, your settings, obviously. So I don't really need to do anything on this layout other than make sure that the media width is um, exactly matching the the roll of material that I have in my machine, which it is. I don't know why it's oriented that way, but I'm just going to switch it um, so that it's correctly oriented for me. And if you wanna add multiple copies, you can do that here. I might as well just add a couple more since for this tutorial, I'm, you know, I have three there. Now, what you can see is the, the width and the height. If you wanna adjust that a little bit to make it a little bit smaller, you can do that as well using scale. Okay, and then I'm going to go to uh, quality. Now, this is where you are going to pick the file type. Now, because I have this queue set up already for this material, it already is knowing, is already picking the, the settings that I have selected. I'll show you how to do that in another video. But what I am doing is using Oracle 3165, which is a four mil um, thick materials, a pretty thick vinyl. And so instead of using vinyl, I actually like to use um, this high gloss gray because it does have gray glue and it is glossy. Um, and then it for uh, in order the print quality, I'm going to use draft because it prints, as you can see, in almost half the time. And honestly, unless you are using like a microscope, it's extremely difficult to see much of a difference, okay, between that and standard. So it saves a lot of time. And then the preset Color management, I always use True Rich Color 3. I think I get the best um, colors with that. Now, you can skip a couple of these other ones and go down to printer controls. Just make sure that there's nothing there that you need. I There's usually nothing in this one, but in cut controls, this is where you are going to um, make your changes. Now, um, I know that with this material, the Oracle uh, 3165, that the cut settings for a regular kiss cut or a force of 90. But what I also know is that for a perf cut, I need to increase that. And so I usually increase that to about 200. Okay. And that typically is what ends up working uh, best for me. Now, if you haven't already learned or watched the video on how to find the best cut settings for your the material that you're using, I would suggest that you do that. But I am letting you know that a 60 degree blade with these settings as the perf cut, this is what works really, really well for this four mil glossy material, okay? And then that's all I need to do for that. So the final thing is that you need to right click and tell it to print. You can just click print and it will automatically rip first before it begins printing, or you can click rip. And then once the rip is done, then you can click print. I like to just click print and it will do it all at once. The printing will then begin in just a couple of minutes and um, you will have yourself 
um, some perfect perf cut stickers once this is all um, printed and cut. Okay, so now the stickers have completely printed and you can see that you can simply pop them out, which is really great when you're looking for stickers. If you have a customer that just wants a sticker that has the full backing on there, that's what you've got. Now, if you are looking for how to, oops, we've got a little piece right here. If you're looking for um, a, a tutorial on how to both die cut and perf cut on the same sticker, I will have another tutorial, another video on showing you how to do that on the Roland BN20 or BN20A as well.